What is going on folks, it's your man Jay and I'm back with another video. So today, we're gonna be taking a look at the truck and giving you a quick update also on the um, last fit. So the last fit uh, is really, really what I wanna talk about today. I've um, been using these, I think for almost a month and I mean, I'm impressed. I definitely like them better than the OEM version of these uh, weather mats. In this video, I want to point out a couple things why I like these better than the OEMs. So, first thing is on the back seat, the OEMs, they tuck under here, right here, and this whole, it's all one piece. And so, when it's time to take these out to clean them, you have to do that every time. And so there, I haven't put I haven't put the OEMs back in since I, since I got the last fits because of that reason. Once I did it a couple of times, I was like, nah, this isn't gonna work. And then got the last fits, and it's perfect. Now the last fits, um, they fit just like OEM for the most part, but they have a better they have a better uh, texture and feel to them for some reason. I like it a lot better. I think they feel better than the OEMs, uh, and they look better too. So the fit and finish of them stays snug. This, this side has the snaps in there and the passenger side is the side that, that doesn't have the snaps, but it in fact doesn't really move around at all. Let's go around here. The passenger side doesn't have the snaps on the front side. It has the markings for the snaps, but there's no snaps down here on the front side. So, but it still stays pretty much fit right there and spills and everything like that, they're gonna be fine. I just I just get a quick wash real quick. Um, but, you know, overall, the last fits are actually really solid, man. And I think the last fits are, I'd recommend these over the OEM. So I got mine when I built the truck. So um, normally I would just pay for them separately if I don't, if, if they didn't come on a truck that I didn't build. When I put this build together though, that they, you know, that was an option to select it for the, for the um, floor mats just not to come out of pocket for them. Cause I wanted to use those points to, to towards payment or get an oil change or something like that. You can use your points that way for oil changes and payments and all kinds of things to GM. So overall, man, the last fits, they're, they're solid, man. I, I would recommend the last fits over the OEMs uh, any day. So the truck, man, how's the truck doing? Um, no problems. I've seen, uh, I'm coming up on 2000 miles. Uh, and um, right, right, just under 2,000 miles. And a lot of people have said, you know, some people have problems with lifters. Oh, the 5.3 has lifter problems. Well, uh, no, no problems with my, this this engine yet. Not one single problem. I'm gonna go ahead and get an oil change, probably at 3,500 miles, like I did on the Duramax. I'm not sure yet. But um, nonetheless, no problems with this engine whatsoever nothing it's running smooth um I, I i can't i don't have a complaint about it none whatsoever the 5.3 is a is a solid engine uh and um i don't know i don't know what to tell people who think this 5.3 is not a good engine uh i've had their older 5.3s like in the suburbans remember the vortex that they were put in the suburbans um yeah those those engines are solid but these newer 5.3s paired to the 10-speed transmission I think that's what does it for for this truck. Uh, it, I mean, solid, solid performing truck. Total opposite experience. Um, and, and if I'm being honest, I mean, if this would have been a Duramax, uh, and I and I had this same experience, I'd still be with a Duramax. So you saw my other video. I was like, man, I, I'm probably gonna go back and get another Duramax. And when all that stuff happened, I was like, yeah, not gonna happen. Yeah, and I think I'm staying put, man, until the um, until the other truck comes, the, the SUV comes that I was talking about the Arcadia the GT Arcadia until that drops I don't think I'm gonna do anything else with the vehicles I've canceled my EV reservation officially um, I got a refund for that reservation it took me about two weeks to get a refund uh, but you know it's still not off the table with an EV truck I'm just concerned about the miles and you know currently on this truck the most I've gotten is about 450 on a tank about 460 maybe um, but other than that, the truck is running really good. No problems with this truck at all, man. I don't have any complaints. I don't have, and, and that's good. I don't, I don't want to report anything bad. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually, I'm loving it, man. Um, I think at this point, if this truck continues to run strong like this, 
I guess this will be the one then, you know. Um, I'm not a fan of making payments. Uh, and um, since I got this for less, I'm trying, here's what I'm, the plan is to hold off as long as possible and not pay this off sooner just in case I decide to trade. Uh, and I have no intentions on trading, but if a, if, a, if a Cadillac Escalade becomes available in this color in a Duramax with the new Duramax, I might consider that. And then I'll just take all the money and put it towards that. But, you know, as far as the GT Arcadia, that was something that I probably wasn't planning on. I wasn't, the plan is not to get rid of a truck for the Arcadia because Arcadia is like a, a serious sports utility vehicle with power and stuff like that. So that's going to be like in line with the Camaro. So that's another one that I have to park at the house. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, at least that's for now. I don't make plans like that on, you know, what am I, I mean, this is just material stuff. So um, if you can get away with it, if you can afford it, um, I say just go for it. Just do it. It's just stuff. Uh, there's no there's no right or wrong way to live your life when it comes to stuff like this I guess because it's just things you can't take them with you So you might as well have some fun with it. That's how I am with cars and stuff like that so This stuff right here doesn't mean that much to me and I'll sell it if I get a good deal on this I'll sell it. I'll take it like if I could profit uh, On it. I'm just gonna take it and get it get something else or get another one get the same truck So <clears throat> I don't know why people uh, feel some type of way about that, but again, this is just stuff. So if you can have fun with it and move around and shuffle it around, and you know how to play the game, get what you want out of it. So I'm loving the, uh, the black this time around. Um, the truck gets a lot of compliments on this color. Tons of people say, man, that color is nice. What is that color? Uh, and things like that. And you know, it's just, it is what it is. Now the tailgate, um, the tailgate, I kind of miss it a little bit, but then again, I don't because this has such a smooth look on the front. I like it. See, when you, when you have the, the split gate, the, the multiplex tailgate, there's the, the lines that go along there. And I don't see very many multiplex tailgates anymore. Um, but when I do, it's not on a 23, it's on a 22. And if it is on a 23, it's on like a Denali or something like that, or AT4. So I don't know. The rough country uh, uh, cover is holding up well. Uh, everything's running smooth, man. So I'll be sure to uh, update you guys on any changes to the vehicle. But right now, I have done no more modifications. And, and, and the reason I haven't done any more modifications, like wheels and stuff like that, these are just nice wheels, man. These are just nice wheels. The black wheels with this color. And then also, I see some people paint this area right here. You can get it painted like that from the factory. And actually, I would have done that as an option. I just didn't check the box. Simply put, I just I just didn't check the box. I forgot to check this box right here to get those painted. I would love to have those the different color or you know the same color as the truck. But still, you can get that done aftermarket. It's just more affordable and cheaper to do it through the dealer since they're painting the entire truck anyway. But these wheels right here, man, they they're just growing on me. I like the way it looks with the center caps. I think it's even though those are the red center caps, you really can't tell too much because the cut truck truck uh the color of the truck so it doesn't really stand out too much um the i have some black lug covers that i'm they're somewhere in my garage man i just can't find them i'm meaning to put those on so, so long ago and i think that'll really make me like the wheels more but if you know where i can get some black lug lug covers like for the lugs right here i had a i had a bunch of those at the house man and i don't know i had a, a full set and i don't know where they went so if you can find some of those online, I'll look to. If you can get them for, you feel like it's a good price, let me know and, and I'll scoop them up and put those on there. But other than that, man, haven't done much of nothing. Just been enjoying it. At about 2,000 miles, got some road trips coming up. So just going to just gonna take that ride, take that trip and, and, and enjoy the truck, man. Enjoy life. Camaro footage should be more Camaro footage coming along, folks, uh, pretty soon. Um, the summertime is coming right now. It's uh, recording this video, so like mid mid February, and we're hitting into those 75s and 80s. So uh, it should be pretty nice weather to drop the top and bring more Camaro footage for those that are here for the Camaro footage. Don't really plan on doing too much Cadillac footage. I mean, the Cadillac is running good. It's got like 8,700 miles on it, still running strong. Did did an oil change already, and that's it. But the truck, if you're here for the truck, this thing is running good. I'm loving it. And uh, I'll keep you posted if I make any updates or changes. Right now, I think I like how it sits for now. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.